Hi, I'm Laura Rogers, Microsoft MVP, and today's second webcast, we're going to be talking about a little bit more about custom scenarios with permissions in SharePoint. And in this video, we're going to talk about list and library level permissions. Here is a nice little graphic that I created to demonstrate some of what we're going to be doing today. We have the site collection root site, which is Contoso Home in this case. And then we have a site called Accounting, a site called HR, Human Resources. And then in each of these sites, we have a couple of lists and libraries. Now, I've given all users in the company read access at the very top level. And then Human Resources site, all the same users can also read everything in that site. Those users can also read all the policies in the policies library. As far as accounting goes, only the people in the accounting department are going to be able to get to the site and they have contribute access. So all users are not going to have access to the accounting department. Also within that site, the list called accounting contacts is only going to be for the accounting people. They have contribute access to it. And then a library called financial files, the whole accounting department can read it, but I have a special subset of people called CFO office, SharePoint group, that I'm going to give them contribute access. I only want them actually editing those files. Also on the HR side, I have for the whole site, the HR uh, department, the people in that department can contribute to that site. And they can also contribute to the list called HR tasks. But we want all users to be able to read the policy library and HR people to be able to contribute to that library. One additional thing, is that the policy admins are going to have the approve capability, which means that this is this happens when we turn on content approval in a library. That means that all those people that have contribute access, they're going to be able to edit those files, but only the people, only the people in the policy and men's group that I create are going to be able to actually approve those files for public consumption. So that's just another little sort of extra level there that you can add. All right, let's get to the demonstration. Here is my Contoso homepage. Here's my accounting subsite. So in the accounting subsite, I'm going to go straight to the accounting contacts list that I've created. In the account, accounting contacts list, I'm going to go ahead and go to the list tab and go to list permissions. And you'll notice that, so these accounting members of the accounting department, they already have contribute access because that's what that's the level that we set at the very top level of the site. The next thing we're going to look at is we're going to go ahead and create that library called financial files. You'll notice that unlike when you create a site, when you create a list or library, it is not going to ask you about having unique permissions or not. So I actually need to go on the library tab here. I need to go to library permissions and then I want to stop inheriting permissions. So I want to give accounting members, edit their permissions and give them read, not contribute. And then I actually need to go create that CFO office group to give them contribute access. So I'll go ahead and go to site actions, site settings real quick, people and groups. And this is where I can get to the groups and create new groups in here. I'll click groups on the left and choose new and call it CFO office. And click create. When I first create a group, I don't have to assign a permission level right then. I can go to the place where I want them to have their permissions and just assign them, you know, specific permissions in one place if I'd like. So now I'm still on the accounting site, but I need to go back over to my financial files library, which is where I want to give them permission. So I go to financial files again and to the library tab and library permissions. I can also go to library settings and choose permissions for this document library. It takes me to the exact same place. Grant permissions, CFO office and I'm going to give them contribute. I want them to be able to edit, add, edit, and delete the files in that library. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the HR site now. 
And at the site level, all users in the company have read access. All people in the HR department have contribute access. And on this list called HR tasks, all people in the HR de department have contribute access al also. But I want to make sure that the all users in the company don't have read access to this list. So I can go to my list tab, list permissions, because by default, again, whatever is set at the site level is going to apply to your list. So I'm going to stop inheriting permissions and get rid of that all, that all users group is a little ugly, isn't it, with all those little characters at the end. I'm going to remove that group. All right, and now I have what I need. At our, at our human resources site on the policies uh, library, I already created the policy admins group that I talked about, but we're gonna do something a little fancy on this one. So I'm going to go to the library tab, library permissions, I'm gonna quiz you on this later, and stop inheriting permissions. So I do want all users to have read access, that's correct. I do want the HR people to be able to contribute. And then I want policy admins. I'm going to give them design because approve is one of the things that, they, that you can do when you have design level permission. I did a different webcast on custom permission levels. So technically you could create your own permission level that doesn't have all the other stuff and just has approve in there. So I'm just going to pick design. And now they have that permission level just on this library. In my library settings, now I want these people to be able to approve the content before it goes public. So this is where I'm going to go to my versioning settings and choose require content approval, approval for submitted items and who can see draft items, only users who can approve items and the author of the item. Click OK. All those people in HR can edit the policies, but only the people who are policy admins can approve them for public consumption. All right, again, I'm Laura Rogers. This has been the custom scenarios with uh, list and library level permissions. Thanks for watching.